Hello and welcome to another Toon Boom Studio tutorial from TuckCast.com. I'm Daniel Allen from YouTube.com forward slash Dan on a Bouncy Castle. Now today we're going to be looking at taking our Toon Boom Studio projects and importing them into Adobe Flash. Now so we've got ourselves a Toon Boom project. If you followed the last tutorial then you may have a similar looking project although hopefully it looks better than mine. So we've got some simple looking fire here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to save our project, Hit save, and then obviously choose your location. And then we're going to come over to Internet Explorer or your preferred web browser. And we go products, Doom Boom Studio. and plugins. Oh, that scared me. It says it works for Flash 8 to CS3, but it does definitely work with CS4. I have tested it. So, we come down here. If you've got Mac, obviously download the one for Mac. If you've got Windows, Download the one for Windows. Now, once you've downloaded it, you're going to get these files inside a folder. I'm not sure what it looks like for Mac, but this is what it looks like for Windows. All the instructions are in the README folder. Basically, we copy the DLL and this folder into, we come into our Adobe Flash directory, go to EN, Configuration, and Importers and then we copy them in there. As you can see I've already copied mine in. Make sure flash is closed, remember. Then when we come over to flash, we're going to go file, new, action script 3.0, hit OK. Then we're going to go file, import, import to the stage, because as we know, if you know flash then you'll know that this area here is called the stage and we find we navigate to our project open now it's going to let us choose our scene I only have one scene so it's doing that for me but you can choose whatever scene you want you can import sound if you've got sound but I don't so I'm going to leave that unchecked make sure we've got all frames checked and also preserve layers if we choose preserve composition order it's going to squash all our layers into a single layer Layers. So we're going to press preserve layers, and that looks good. Press OK. Press Control minus, or it might be Command minus. We'll just Control minus on the Mac, but Control minus on Windows for sure to zoom out. And now we've got our fire. It's a really easy technique. Try it out and. I know that Flash is probably a bit more interactive than Toon Boom, but if you're not very good at animating inside of Flash, then you can do stuff in Toon Boom, bring it over, and then it's like you've done it all in Flash. Very versatile. You can now turn it into like an interactive web page or something like that. Until next time, I'm Daniel Allen from tuckcast.com. See you soon.